Hello there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party, and holy crap, I am so excited where we are going in WandaVision. First two episodes, a lot of fun, but they are peeling back the facade in which we are living right now with Wanda and Vision. Yes, I think that both the first and second episode, they can like they complemented each other so well. And we're getting bits and pieces of what might be actually going on with Wanda with inside this. Uh, I want to say the world that she's created sure. uh, for herself um, with maybe a help of not so nice people on the outside kind of trapping her in as well, possibly. So many possibilities. That's the right. fun part, too. Right. So that's what I love because, you know, you have so many different ways that you probably could go sure. with this, especially with all the things that you've known from the comics and stuff. It, they they leave it open to imagination for the, the viewers and keeping you guessing the whole time, which I really do enjoy. Plus, I love the trope that they're doing with all the sitcom, you know, a tip to the hat to two sitcoms. Sure, big ones. Um, so I'm looking forward forward to it because now we're going to be in technicolor and i'm so excited uh to to dive more into wandavision moving into the 70s so 50s and 60s were fun 70s are ahead eventually we're going to head into Brady the bunch yeah I'm, <laughs> it, there is so much and i'm looking forward to just in terms of just the tv aspect just in terms of the characters i want to see all the other characters grow as we jump through these different uh sitcoms so. right and i hope to see new characters see some um characters that we've known before that we know that they're going to be sure. in this episode or in this uh series as well right. so it's going to be fun to peel back the layers of Wanda. And guys, don't miss an episode with us. We're getting them up as quick as we can on our channel. Make sure to subscribe. Only 14% of you guys are. Let's get that number up. 100,000. And you can check out our full episode watch-alongs on our Patreon. But let's get into WandaVision Episode 3 now. Yeah, look at that. That's so Brady Bunch. There we are again. Oh, yeah. With the symbol. Uh, I love it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, no. ah! The gang. There he is. <laughs> In color. So good. How did this happen? Well, yeah. When a man and a woman. Nope. <laughs> I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> you were at about four months now. <laughs> At four months, what size fruit would it be at, say, 12 hours? Uh, pardon? <laughs> <laughs> See, he's the rational one. She's just trying to divert it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> In the painted background, too. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yep. The fruit. He was super speedy. We're going through the whole pregnant sitcom trope as well, too. <laughs> it's magical. There goes the CG budget. <laughs> Is that a kitty carry all? I think we have an understanding. Oh. Like Jim when you're uh -huh. putting the thing on it, all the babies. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the music. Shorted out the whole house. Yeah. Shorted out the whole neighborhood, probably. Maybe. Do these earrings make me look fat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what is he reading? What does it say on the newspaper? I couldn't read it. People of Westview are always on the verge of discovering our secret. That's what makes it more fun to watch. Something's wrong here, Wanda. She's going to erase it. Yep. Yes, I know what you mean. Blink yeah. of an eye. Yeah. Wanda will not let go. Mm -hmm. Go. I thought you said Friday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Did her water just break? I think my water just broke. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> uh oh. When you want to get away, but you don't want to go anywhere, hide yourself. Which is what she's doing right now. <laughs> Wanda! Monica! All the pipes in my ceiling are 
healing burst at once. Damn, it did it to all of them. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Is that some mink? That's nice. <laughs> I love those stairs. They're so Brady Bunch. Look at me. Tell me about the temp job. That's my girl. Nope. He ain't going. Oh no! <laughs> Slinking oh, no. down. Nope, that's not why gonna work. <laughs> She's like breaking. A, a, yeah. A new ice maker built right into the fridge. Good job. <laughs> Explained it. Yeah. So, so almost. I she almost got her. Try a little upside down, drink those hiccups away. That works. Yeah. It works. It does. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, That's a fish. fish. <laughs> Scared him. So You're pregnant. In my car. Decides to poop out. Of course it does, because you can't go. Oh shit! What about my brand new two piece? Two piece gonna have to wait, boo. It's like poltergeist. Basically. Oh my gosh. I got the one baby, look. Looks like vision. <laughs> you missed it. Oh no, I missed it. Oh no, I missed it for one. Like we were flying. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. He's gotta get used to him sometime. Happy tears. No! Oh, oh no, another one. <laughs> it ain't over. <laughs> I don't think we'll get away after all. You Small can't. They're all trapped. Yeah. Can't leave. Come on, Vision. Put the pieces together. Oh, oh shit! Oh no. They're all kind of self-aware. But Ralph looks better in the dark, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Is Geraldine inside with Wanda? She gonna try and get her not to trust uh, Monica? <laughs> Maybe. He had a brother. Mm -hmm. His name was Pietro. Pietro. Oh no. What's oh going no. On? Oh no. The walls are breaking down. He was killed by Ultron. Oh, oh snap. Oh no. What'd you say? Oh, she's going to kick her ass out. Yeah. What did you say about Pietro? Oh Pietro. shit. She doesn't like it's coming in in and out in and out. I think you should leave. The babies are crying in the background too. That macrame is not going to hitch itself. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, bitch. Oh, oh shit, man. Damn. Uh oh. Now, do all of them know or just a few? Because they struggle with it. Yeah. She had to rush home. You pushed her out. Yep, uh, there it is. There it is. Ah, oh, the outside world. And we just switch the aspect ratios. Yep. <laughs> I love it. Right out. Yep. Yes! They're using Daydream Believer. Yep. Like in the trailer. They were right on her. Hell oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. The force field action. Yep. I do love this song. Yeah. It's a good song. So it's very clear Wanda is running the show from within this world that she's created. At least she has heavy manipulation in managing what is going on in there. And some some obviously know what's going on, or at least they know that they are trapped and they have to be weary of Wanda, while others are still kind of coming in and out, it looks like, of consciousness, at least when it comes to Monica Rambo, because she was genuinely unaware of what was going on until she pushed through right. in her mental faculties, but of course right. that's not what Wanda wants. No, she doesn't. Uh, she kind of wants to be in this... Um, essentially... Wanda has put rose tinted glasses on herself and she wants to be in this world and she wants to be with vision because you know she has that so much heartache and so much loss that any type of realization of the outside world right. of what happened before that 
it's like, no, I don't want to hear it. I want to be with vision. I want to do my own thing, you know, now with my children as well. So she has kind of created a, a reality for herself. A safe haven, a yeah. safe space. And yeah, Pretty Monica much. Rambo's out. So it yeah. makes me wonder, like, she obviously had the sword symbol for her necklace. Right. And should she go in, dress up, go that way to be a part of the reality? When she went in, did the reality just form around her? Like, obviously, she wasn't supposed to be there. So they sent her in. Now that she's back, they had guns drawn on her, too. So maybe because it's nighttime, they don't know what the hell's going on. Right. Who the hell are you? Well, I'm sure, too, that they, they kind of want to be wary of what's coming of out of something like that too so you know you have to kind of be on high alert yeah it makes sense and uh i loved again that the characters did kind of carry over into this reality Mm -hmm. because we will get to see how they respond that's what i'm looking forward to is all the characters kind of evolving as we go from one tv show and to another right and we're still in the 70s we haven't pushed on yet to the 80s so there is some time spent in these realities where it's not just like oh one episode one episode one episode they take their time these episodes are definitely taking their time but they do give us a little bit more each time when it comes to reality right which i'm curious to see if if next episode that we won't start with wanda and vision and that we will start off on the outside of westview on the what they are seeing getting a little bit more uh backstory as to what is happening like wh- how when did this happen like right. i'm super curious as to when this happened sure after the events of endgame uh, for Wanda right. and so uh, that's that's like one of my height like I love the timeline between so I'm like okay how did this happen who's doing this to her right um, if I mean granted she is creating this reality for herself too sure um, or someone built it for her and she's just playing in it so true i mean you've got all these very uh reminiscent symbols going on we don't know if aim's a part of it and i'm digging the fact that they're gonna take us into a possible yeah hydra like they're throwing in all these little tidbits just in the sense that this world that we have lived in for quite some time is still living and they're piping things hopefully into a series that is taking its time to show us something completely different and I'm digging that they're doing that. Right. And then with the, you know, the little commercial in between right. where it's like, you want to go away, but you don't want to leave. Sure. So maybe this was something that she volunteered for, maybe. that she came back for. I mean, she volunteered herself for, for Hydra for their stuff too. So in the MCU, I feel like she doesn't realize the full potential of what her powers can do right. for her. And she's starting to realize this when she manifests this world with Vision. And we won't know how it's going to play out until we get another episode. So guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our reactions to each episode. We appreciate everyone that jumped into the Patreon. We appreciate everyone that came and watched our videos for the last couple. Check out our reactions to Cobra Kai Season 3, all available on the channel. And The Mandalorian as well available on our channel the entire season it was an amazing winter still is an amazing winter yeah and we've got plenty more to go but you can also do the thing on our facebook twitter tumblr instagram start all the social networking gin joints you know where they are thank you so much and as always now it's time to say goodbye this party is over bye bye